Hey guys, so that's it. I just arrived um, with the sunset. So that, that was a that was a shorter day than the, pre than the previous ones, uh, but I'm happy to be to finally be home. Um, so uh, let's sum up a bit the trip. Uh, first, uh, distance was 4,490 kilometers. Uh, I consumed a total of 623 kilowatt hours and the average consumption was 13.9 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometer uh, or 139 watt hours per kilometer for Tesla drivers. Um, so yeah, so that was quite low because it was full on summer and uh, the weather conditions were pretty good. Um, the, that distance is actually very similar to the one I did um, two years ago with the BMW i3 when I drove from Ireland to Corsica and north of Italy and Switzerland and Germany. So that was about the same length but I did this one in 10 days and the one two years ago was in three weeks so twice as fast. Uh, I did a total of 24 charges. So that's around 190 kilometer in average per charge. But of course, some charges were just top ups or some, you know, so it was not necessarily full charges, obviously. So you can say that probably um, considering the range of the car, um, I could have done maybe 15 if I did normal full charges from 10 to 100 percent. But of course, you don't charge uh necessarily when you're 10 person when you're long distance trip always be charging abc right so you charge when you can um those 24 charges they were successful all of them just one at the tesla support charger uh i had to change stall because my my session um and drop down to zero for some reason but I just plugged next to it and it was working so I think that's the only one that caused me trouble uh, the AC uh, charge points working fine and yeah all the Tesla ones despite that uh, besides that one were fine as well um, honestly the car is great um, I could test it and it's it's really a, a driving machine um, so I'm, I can talk for the SR Plus, but I can assume that's the same for the, the long range and performance and the Model S or Xs because they are all even better on those regards uh, in terms of range and performance. Um, the comfort was good. I was really happy in this car. The efficiency is amazing. I mean, 13.9 and, and I did motorway half of the time. So that was that was really good didn't get any issue uh, just my washer is a bit low now <laughs> I've got a little warning there since uh, earlier today um, but that's it so I was, I was really pleased with the car uh, I mean almost 4,500 kilometers um, um, I don't feel especially tired after this trip yes I am a bit but that that was fine that's fine um, I had a couple of issues with the car of course um, um, the how do you call those the sudden breakings there um, they, 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 they happen they still happen I thought they were gone but you're not a pilot and suddenly your car is breaking out of the blue seeing something that got better a few months ago and they strip it out into me every day every day at some stage the car didn't so and also the the map even though i had the last i, I just had the last map the speed limits were all over the place in some places in france because they changed last year and still i had some places it was 90 and suddenly in the middle of nowhere 80 and the car is just suddenly breaking from 90 to 80 and it can actually be dangerous so i was a bit bothered by that um, I got the bug on the screen actually had twice at that bug uh, where I had to restart the screen one was like the, the thing completely froze while I was driving 
and when I realized that, I slowed down and realized the, the, the speed didn't change. I was like, okay, something is happening. And I turned my indicator to pull off the road and the indicator was not even blinking. I mean, the sound was not working. I don't know if I was actually blinking outside, but that was a bit annoying. So I had to restart the whole thing. If it happens to you, you press twice on both buttons of the steering wheel uh, for about 10 seconds maybe, and then it just reboot the system. It is said that it just affects the display behind it your car is still driving the same way thankfully because i'm thankful they are actual physical connection to the home because if everything was software uh, <laughs> software driven then we would be in trouble with all those beta versions we are having um so yeah that was the so i got that another time actually when i arrived in the, the night i arrived in budapest i i could see that there was uh, some trouble with the... Um, I could see a bit of a lag on the display and when I actually... Um, maybe a few kilometers before um, I was driving my night in Budapest there and I could see the map didn't update because I wanted the, the, the image to update and zoom in and the car didn't zoom in so I just could see just just the navigation on nowhere so I just had this indication of 200 meters 500 meters but i couldn't see the map and actually it was frozen the, the, the internet connection didn't work and everything started to freeze the speed was still okay and then when i i reversed to do parallel parking the the camera image popped up I mean, the, the window popped up but it was a black screen and then i realized wait a minute i should see something behind me so at that point i was like okay i need to do a restart so yeah it happened to me twice um, that didn't happen to me with the previous uh, model 3 so i don't know tesla is improving all the time their cars sometimes they're not improvements <laughs> but maybe as well because this one is china made versus the previous one uh, us made maybe they are using different components uh, and maybe those components are not as performance maybe maybe the, the it's hardware 3 I think on those that's the name of the uh, of the hardware packages but maybe some uh, are not just as performant as the previous ones I don't know or maybe the software only I don't know um, but anyway it's it didn't bother me in the previous one and this one it did twice during the last few days um for the rest i really i really uh, enjoyed the um, the premium connectivity i took that as an option uh, but it's just 10 euro per per month and for such a long trip totally worth it uh, i like to see the the um, the view of the satellite view of google i think it's nice if you're traveling around you see the how the roads are it could help navigation because of course you don't have this lane 3d thing that shows the lane way which lane you have to go and things like this like you have in a tom tom and and it just showed the arrows kind of old style so i think it's not really good on a car um so at least the image of uh, the satellite image help to represent yourself um, so I, I, I like that i like that for this and of course i'm big uh, spotify user so the fact to have this uh, app integrated for me is big plus so yeah so i recommend that definitely if you are going on a long distance trip definitely worth it mm. so the last the last thing i wanted to say is regarding the length of the trip it was obviously a very long trip the point was to do a long drive i i went to geneva and budapest to see friends of mine of course but i it was also about the, the driving experience and the, how to, to, to drive a long, uh, a long range EV on a long distance trip. And honestly, on that day, I did 1300 kilometers, over 1300 kilometers on 17 hours. It was a long day, but I realized I had only very short breaks just to charge. And, and honestly, you can't possibly want to drive more in a single day whether it's electric or not it's just it's just too much already it's just pushing the limits of the human because it's a lot of kilometers and 
you realize that this, the EVs have gone to a point where the cars are fine. The cars are fine. It could be a matter of infrastructure because you might want a more dense uh, infrastructure. You want superchargers every 20 kilometers in an ideal world or, or fast chargers for your non-Tesla. This is what you want, a better infrastructure. But the cars, it's fine. You don't need more than that. Considering the efficiency of this car, with the, you don't need more than 50 kilowatt hours battery. No, for me, it's enough. The, the, I don't see how a long range Model 3 would have done better. Honestly, I might have saved 30 minutes on my day, maybe. And you know what? I, it would have been, I, I, I wouldn't have enjoyed those 30 minutes saved because that would be 30 minutes saved of, of charging. And I needed those breaks for me as a human. So I think this is it. This is all about the infrastructure. The infrastructure is sorted for Teslas. So that's fine. And for the other EVs, we have to wait a bit more. We need more fast chargers, but in no time it'll be, we will be able to do long distance trip with a non-Tesla. And hopefully in a couple of years, I'll do something similar or maybe before, I don't know, with, with, with a non-Tesla. So I think that's the takeaway. And if you have uh, an EV, don't be afraid of long distance trip. Um, I recommend charge map for finding those chargers where they are and what type of chargers. I think it's a very good app. Charge map pass is um, RFID that you can order, which is good because it, it, it can be used in many places. However, it's a bit expensive. So I only use it in last resort. I use um, charge price. Is that the name of the thing? Charge price, yeah. So this is actually helpful because there are so many, um, there are so many different um, way to price. Sometimes it's per minute, per kilowatt, a bit of change of everything, and and it's just confusing. And roaming fees could be crazy. And this app shows you. You'd say, oh, I want to charge between 30 and 80% at that charge point. And it will, I've got that car and it will tell you exactly how much it's going to cost depending on the RFID you have. So this is very useful because I have quite a few and sometimes I don't know which one is the, the best value. And some, and you could be surprised. One could be three times for, uh, more expensive than the other one. And only at that charge point, it's not always three times faster. It's, it's uh, more expensive. It could be three times cheaper. It just, it's difficult to get around it. And, and those apps are good for that. So charge price, charge map to, to know where the, those, those stations are. If you have a Tesla, use the Tesla thing. Um, it's, it's working very well, of course, you know that. But if you don't have a Tesla, those two apps are gonna be useful. And of course, you could order some of those uh, badges, that RFID badges that you that you can use in many many different stations. Um, so yeah, Ionity. If you have a Volkswagen or I don't remember, is it a BMW or Mercedes? I think they offer those uh, um, good prices on this. Uh, they are expensive, seventy nine cent. If you don't have any special special deal but they are everywhere now Ionity on mainland Europe it's quite good uh, and there are many other uh, coming up uh, but thankfully because this is a Tesla I didn't have to to get there so at the end of the day it's also I'm I'm just going to repeat what I said before the SR press is really amazing I mean unless you really need four wheel drive and you drive in a snowy place I don't really see the point of a LR unless you do like 350 kilometers every single day and you only want to charge at home or something like this. You know, some corner cases I can understand, but honestly, I, I, thinking about it again, I don't think I would have done much better, much better experience. Um, and the difference of price is quite high. The car is faster, but that's why we're fast enough. Uh, I did enjoy, uh, well, I tried 
some autobahn and so I did um, over 220 kilometers an hour on this car this is very stable and of course you don't want to go further just as fast it was just a, just to try and there was no one on the road at that time so but yeah that that's that's about that's about it the SR plus is amazing I mean especially here in France less than 40,000 euro you gotta be silly buying anything else you know electric or not you know if you can if you can afford it if you can afford the, the repayments the monthly repayments and this and here is very cheap because the resale value is so high those cars are going abroad uh, uh, in other European countries uh, because they are so cheap in, to start with that it's a no-brainer um, the 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 LR could be could be in, in interesting of course yeah if you need the full wheel drive and the performance but the, for the rest the car is pretty much the same the 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 the, the, the stereo is a bit better but this is already very good SR plus all the way best value for money ever um, so yeah I'm really happy about this uh, about the car I hope I will share with you um, other um, trips maybe not right now uh, anytime soon with the model 3 but i hope with other cars um i'm not sure exactly what and where and how um but uh, uh we'll we'll see you very soon on the channel thanks a lot for watching i hope you really liked uh this series um and all me talking especially uh, tonight uh, it's been <laughs> 16 minutes already um, but i think it's important to share that and also that you have to say you have to tell your friends your family anyone around you that you know this is possible some people are doing long distance trip and it's not crazy and it's easy to do and it's possible evs are not for the cities you can really do a lot with these and uh, just it's just i just want to prove this so you know people can say oh yeah this guy did it so maybe i can do it maybe my neighbor who was asking about it i can tell him look it's possible some people are doing those stuff so spread the word uh, so we have more evs on the road and less diesels and petrol um, fumes okay um, if you haven't subscribed please subscribe um, if you want to order a tesla please use my uh, my link because i don't have any more supercharging <laughs> kilometers so feel free feel free to use it if you want to purchase one and um, i wish you a good evening or day or whatever uh, depending on when you are watching this video i'll see you very soon bye bye